guys there's a hack that i want to show you i don't know whether you are aware of it let me get you in the comment section so have you ever experienced where you 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 just do your the diaper to your baby and then later the baby pees or he or she poops and then it runs over to the back of his clothes and then you find that his clothes or her clothes are wet and all guys so I have a hack for you doing good and keeping safe i'm also doing good and keeping safe don't mind that i'm doing this video from the baby's nursery it is because he is right here sleeping and i want him to wake up because guys i have just come home from work look at my boobs guys they are so full of milk like the way they are looking big right now i just want him to wake up breastfeed i bath him i bond with him play with him but let me tell you nowadays my baby sleeps like he values his sleep guys even you can come with drums and beat those drums and he won't even wake up he will just ignore actually nowadays he's actually taking long long hours of sleep like around six to seven hours at night he sleep at seven or seven thirty wakes up at two headed to three and then he breastfeeds then sleeps up to around 7 a.m. and then he will be like completely awake <laughs> anyway guys i know this this will may not even like make an impact like he wake up oh anyway guys today i want us to talk about the new moms hacks that every mom should be knowing because we all know that being a first time mom or being a new mom sometimes you can feel overwhelmed especially if you don't know some of the tips and tricks that can help you you know um that can help you uh raise your baby especially at a newborn stage as they grow up it becomes easier but when they are very newborn like one day one week one month guys you can get overwhelmed so the very first uh, hack that i want to share with you parents <coughs> is how to do diaper i know every mom knows how to do diaper right you just i know most of you are like you just take diaper and uh do it guys there's a hack that i want to show you i don't know whether you are aware of it let me get you in the comment section so have you ever experienced where you 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 just do your the diaper to your baby and then later the baby pees or he or she poops and then it runs over to the back of his clothes and then you find that his clothes or her clothes are wet and all guys so i have a hack for you always when doing your baby's diaper just fold it like this you see whenever you fold it like this any poop that comes it will be trapped in here and it will not run over to the clothes or the urine and all it will be trapped inside here can you see just here so whenever you're doing your baby's diaper whether it's a newborn or even a one year two year make sure that you fold the diaper so that the poop and the urine can be trapped in here and it will not it will not mess your baby's clothes you will not have to keep changing your baby's clothes sometimes it's cold sometimes the baby cries during clothes change like light right now is crying especially when you're changing the clothes it's not one of his favorite things guys <laughs> i have thrown the dip on the seat anyway guys so that's the first hack of how to uh, fold to the diaper it will really sort you big time big big time another tip that every mom should be knowing is having a hacker and how to use it guys it's not like a hacker h-a-c-k-e-r it's hacker h-a-a-k-a -A -A. 
so whenever you're breastfeeding the baby on one side make sure that you collect milk on this other end to prevent wastage it really helps guys or if you have a single pump you can use it on one side then collect the milk on the other side then store this as the baby feeds on the other one it will help you not to have a running the leakage on your t-shirt as you breastfeed and all guys so hacker is another hack <laughs> listen hacker is another hack that every new mom should be knowing about so now you know right okay uh guys as we do this if you are a new mom or if you are a mom and or if you if you know of some of the tips that every new mom should be knowing should be knowing just type in the comment section type type guys even if you have not finished watching this video just start typing share and then at some point if you hear me mention some of those tips be like hey Jay, wow 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 <laughs> what a coincidence you know what i mean so those are the first two tips that i have shared with you the third one guys not talking about collecting milk the milk that you collect you need to store it store it in the milk storage bag and now when storing now that milk in the freezer first of all as you put it in the milk storage bag make sure that you remove all the air for the purpose of defrosting and then after you have closed the bag store the bag when it is lying down like this because it will help you as you defrost the milk and also it will save space on your in your fridge so that's another hack of how to store the milk and um, another hack now speaking about breastfeeding and all guys you may not have enough maternity tops sometimes they're even pricey and you cannot afford all those tops or you don't have many guys make use of t-shirts you can do a baggy t-shirt and then breastfeed under that t-shirt so if you are not in a position to buy so many maternity tops and uh, sweaters please 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 uh, you can use t-shirts and then breastfeed from the lower side of the t-shirt should like just lift it up and then breastfeed the baby you know what i mean <laughs> you know what i mean let me get to know in the comment section whether you have ever done that i mean who have who has never done that who have never done that guys let me get to know let me get to know another tip especially for sleep guys every parent should have not every depends on you but a, a new mom should have a white noise machine if you want your baby to have good sleep especially if it's a newborn let me tell you guys whenever you have a newborn baby like immediately they are born the only sound that they know is the the sound that they used to hear in the in the uterus or in the womb the shh, that sound and i think that's why even the grown-ups and adults normally sleep well whenever it's raining because the rain also produces the sound like that one of white noise machine so whenever you have a white noise machine guys always make um play that sound when the baby is sleeping they are so familiar with it they will feel at home they will sleep and they will not even cry okay or even wake up i'll come here and talk about sleep training maybe in the next video because i sleep i sleep trained my baby when he was at 10 weeks i'll come back here guys maybe in the next video let me get in the comment section whether you would want me to come and talk about that so this tip of white noise machine guys which you should know about it you should know about it because it will help you you to have good sleep as your baby is enjoying his or her sleep okay another tip that i want to share with you guys is the actually i think i can get the basket right here guys whenever you're bathing your baby especially his face or her face you can always apply the fact that you cannot use soap because it's too harsh on their skin always apply the oil or um, the jelly that you have on their face then just wipe them with a wet cloth it will always trap every that that needs to be trapped from your baby's face and your baby will be clean another use of the oil guys make sure that you apply it on the diaper area so that the baby cannot get there for me i love to use the arimis you can also try 
lanolin especially when you have a newborn baby it prevents the myconium poop the poop that the baby normally produces when they are very newborn the green one not to stick on baby skin which can be uncomfortable when you're removing it especially when wiping the baby using the wipes and all please please moms have yourself a jelly oil especially lanolin if your baby is struggling with a diaper rash and it will really help you it will sort you full time so before you do the diaper apply the oil especially the lanolin guys or the remis it will help because it acts as a barrier where your baby will not get diaper rash the myconium poop will not stick on your baby's skin and also if you if the the urine of the baby is highly concentrated it will not burn the baby so you should be knowing about that mom <laughs> okay another tip especially when you're bathing your baby's face and they are really newborn guys you may never know whether that one eye has an eye infection or no make sure that you use maybe if it's cotton wool or um, the washcloth use two separate the first one wipe this side of the face with one and the other one used to wipe the other side of the face it will prevent one eye infecting the other you know because newborns sometimes they can have infections so that's another tip that a mom should be knowing so if you didn't know about that i know right now you have known about it another tip that i want to share with you guys is that always when nursing your baby you can always have your basket that has your essentials especially something like haka you can decide to breastfeed the baby anytime you will have your haka with you and breastfeed you may not have someone to send or sometimes it may not be um so convenient because like you need that then asap make sure that you have haka you have liner sometimes the baby can spit and you need to wipe the baby have a t-shirt so that you can change your t-shirt in case the baby spits on you have the pacifier we will talk about pacifiers guys because i know pacifiers is one of the topic that um has controversy is that is controversial there's so many controversies guys around that so we'll talk about that so yeah have any essential that you need in your basket so that you don't have to keep moving round and round and it's an emergency the baby need to breastfeed so you will need the hacker the baby has spitted on you you need to change your t-shirt you need to wipe the baby so have your have your liner there guys you need the pacifier you need to change the diaper you can even have the diaper and the changing mat such things guys it will really sort you as a mom especially if you don't have a house help especially if you don't have a help it will really help you and even if you have a house help you don't need to you don't have to keep like sending them now and then like go bring me this go bring me that right anyway another tip that every mom should be knowing if you have other kids you can have activity basket for other kids just to distract them whenever you are nursing the baby like if you have the activity basket you can always involve them in that um activity basket so that they can play as you breastfeed so that you can be able to you can like they they they, they, they don't like overwhelm you you're breastfeeding and the baby need your attention and all then after you are done with breastfeeding you can always now get involved in what the babies are doing ask them questions and then show them interest so that they can feel special so you should also have that it's a very great hack that will sort you as a mom another first time not it may not be a first time a new mom's hack that you need to know is when you are bathing your baby always prep before so that after you are done with bathing the baby you just finish wrap them wipe them when everything is ready the towel and the clothes and the oils and everything the self-care products and then um clothe your baby and it will be so 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 nice guys another tip that you need to know sometimes your baby might be crying when you're putting him or her into the basin for bath especially let's say the baby is in the cot and you need to put him in the basin for bath so as you pick the baby to the bathtub they cry a lot it's because the babies are so so innocent they're new they don't know what is happening they feel insecure because they are naked you can always cover them as you put them into the basket and not basket into the basin and it will sort you the baby will not like be crying because 
they will feel that sense of security okay another tip that um, a new mom should know is that because sometimes it's too hard to cut the nails of your baby with the nail cutter always file them consistently so that they don't overgrow filing them will really help and the baby will not have to have overgrown nails you using mittens and we talked about mittens for their purpose of their development the sense of touch and feeling you know what i mean so and also you don't want your baby to hurt himself or herself on the face with the long nails so have them filed con constantly so yeah that's all that i had to share with you guys if you're a mom out there and you have experience share with us more hacks in the comment section so that life can be easier for the new moms whether you're first time or third second fourth fifth time i know that these tips will come in handy guys they will come in handy just try them and you will thank me later if you're a mom in the comment section add more or add more emphasis <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so let's help moms out there let's make motherhood enjoyable it's a blessing let's enjoy doing this thing guys i even miss to come like to have another baby already but i have to god willing <laughs> i have to give my baby light attention because he's still a very newborn baby he needs mommy he needs to be loved he needs to be given attention yeah so yeah thank you so much for watching today's video if you have not given this video a thumbs up like it like right now guys i always tell you that whenever you like my videos they get recommended out there i'm on the road to 5,000 subscribers we are few hundreds away guys so if you always watch my content and you have not subscribed like why is that even fair subscribe right now guys um let's get to 5,000. share this video with all to all the moms that you know that will need this video and um let's keep supporting each other loving each other and encouraging each other and until next time guys bye i love you so much until the next video Ta -da! bye bye